hey guys welcome back to my channel i am here today with another makeup tutorial and if you guys would like to know how to achieve this super extra look then make sure you keep watching bye okay guys so i'm starting off with my urban decay primer potion placing that all over my lids before i even attempt to put any eyeshadows on whatsoever then i'm going to go in with my anastasia prism palette in the color saturn and I'm, that's going to be my transition color for this look okay so now i'm going to go into i'm into it by mac this is one of my favorite maroon colors and i'm just going to place that right on top of saturn make sure, making sure i blend it all out very nicely now I'm going to go into Embark also by MAC and I'm just going to be dabbing that right on top of I'm into it so that way it helps bring some depth to my eyelids. Now I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. All right, camera, come on. All right. And I'm just going to be uh, blending that out um, about halfway onto my eyelids. This is going to work as a base for another color that I intend on using. Okay, so I'm going back into the Anastasia palette and I'm using the color Lure. This is a really pretty, pretty color. It's um, a mauve pink and I'm just placing that right on top of Milk in a padding motion. And then I'm gonna use my NYX Loose Pigment and that's mainly because I really want this color to pop a little bit more. It just wasn't popping enough for me. Now I'm going in with this black color by also by Anastasia called Noor, I think. And I'm just going to be dabbing, dab, dab, dab. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, dabbing that on my eyes. I didn't want to blend it. I really want to be extremely intense. So I'm just dabbing that onto the outer corners of my eyes. Now I'm going in with my Milani liquid liner in the color black. Guys, I am still not that good at doing a wing liner, but you know what? I do my best and you know, it kind of works out. So yeah, I'm just using that and doing to the best of my ability. As long as it looks good, I'm good. Now I'm going in with my uh, beauty store lashes. And, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Falsies by Maybelline Mascara uh, just to get all of my lashes uh, under control. And the name of the lashes that I'm using is called Velux by Envy. And the name of them are actually called Mila. Guys, I get my lashes from the beauty supply store. These were $5.99. I don't know how people pay $25, $30 on lashes cause baby, not me, it's a no. Now I'm going to go back in with my mascara and just use that to basically uh, blend my lashes with the false lashes. Now I'm using my NYX Angel Bell face primer, placing that all over my face and blending it all in like so. Okay, so now I'm going in with my black opal finishing powder in the color medium, placing that all over my cheeks, on my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. Um, I do this to set the primer and to also help control my oils throughout the day so that way I don't have to touch up on my foundation. I got this technique from my girl Jackie Ina, so make sure y'all go check her out. Okay, so now I'm using my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color medium to dark. And I'm placing that all over my face. Guys, you really don't need a lot with this foundation. A little goes a long way. Um, like the title says, it's weightless. It's a weightless foundation, yet it is extremely full coverage. And I 
absolutely love this foundation. It's definitely on like my top three for foundations. Now I'm also using the uh, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is have to be my all time favorite concealer thus far. Um, placing that up under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, on my cupid's bow, above my cupid's bow, and on my forehead. And later I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty sponge. Notice I didn't say beauty blender because it's not a beauty blender y'all it's the cheap version from walmart so yeah <laughs> Guys, now I'm going in with Old Faithful, my Ben Nye Banana Powder, and I'm putting that right on top of the concealer to help set it. This avoids creasing, so if you ever um, conceal up under your eyes and you don't set it, and sometimes you get those lines up under your eyes, that is why. You have to set it with a powder. I like to set it with my Ben Nye Banana Powder or sometimes my Black Opal Finishing Powder, but again, I'm just placing the placing that powder in the exact same spots that I put the concealer and I'm just gonna let it bake for a little bit because I really want it to be extra now I'm going in with my it's my Ray Ray palette and I'm using the color brownie to go ahead and contour my cheekbones because you know I like to be extra then I'm using the black opal finishing powder to sculpt out my cheekbones just because I want it to be you know extra of course now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out that powder because I think we've baked long enough even though it don't seem like it because the video is going extremely fast uh faster than you know I can even speak anyways I'm blending that all out making sure that we don't have any flashback so make sure you take your time doing this Now I'm going back in with brownie from It's My Ray Ray palette and I'm going to go ahead and sculpt out my forehead as well because I forgot to do that. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and sculpt the bridge of my nose very, very lightly. I don't like to do it um, like harshly. I, it just doesn't look good to me. Now I'm going in with my Black Radiance Blush. I have no idea what the name of this uh, blush is, but I'll be sure to get it and put it down at the bottom for y'all. And I'm going in with my Wild and Radiant Palette from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to use that color there, and I'm just going to highlight, you know, the tops of my cheeks. Uh, I really like this palette. I, I think the highlight is very subtle, yet it's still very noticeable, and I'm also going to put that at the highest point of my brows. I'm also going to use that same highlighter and highlight my nose uh, just at the bottom and then also kind of like right at the bridge and then also highlight my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my Milani eyeliner. I love this eyeliner, super creamy and it just glides on very nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and go back into I'm Into It by MAC and I'm going to place that right up under um, my eyeliner and blend that out and I'm also going to go back into Saturn and place that right up under I'm into it and also blend that out as well
Now I'm going to use my Maybelline lip liner again. I don't have the name, but I will put it down at the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips uh, like so. Now I'm going to go in with this Maybelline lip kit. I think these are super cute and I'm going with that purpley color and it comes with this shimmer that you can put right on top. So I'm just going to go in with a uh, lip brush and just place that right on my lips obviously. And I'm also going to go in with that shimmer color and I'm going to place that right on top as well. Alrighty guys, so here is the final look. I thank you guys so much for watching my video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please make sure you hit thumbs up on the video. Also, please comment below on other makeup looks you guys would like to see. I plan on having a Valentine's Day video coming out very shortly. I thank you guys again. I love you guys so much. God bless. Bye.